Hello, it's Adrian here um, from Excel at the office and in this quick video I'm going to show you a hack to work out percentages whether you're calculating them on uh, a calculator or certainly in Excel here's how you uh, calculate percentages. So first of all one of the percentages you might want to calculate is simply what is one number as a percentage of another number and uh, I've done an example here so for example your main number might be salary um, uh, and then you get a bonus figure or something like that and you want to work out how much of that how much does that work out as a percentage and that is simply you just divide the small number by the big number and then format it as a percentage in Excel so um, it starts out so all you do is type equals small number divided by big number and it's 0 0.11 which as you know it has fractions one a whole one is equivalent to 100 percent 0.11 therefore is 11 percent so small number divided by big number really simple no None of this, I'll transpose it as this divided by that and times 100. None of that, just a small number divided by big number. Second percentage, you might want to work out if something's changed year on year. For example, um, how revenue is changing or um, other things changing from one year to the next. And uh, that's still pretty simple, but slightly different. So I've given some dummy figures here, 22. Uh, 2022 to 2023 I want to know well how much has this changed uh, year on year and I've put the formula in there and that is simply um, equals and then you open the brackets so we want the latest number minus the previous number so that gives you the change and then work out that similar to the last one the small number divided by the big number you divide all that small number that you've just calculated by the original that will give you again a expressed as a fraction but if I just highlight these and format these as a percentage then you'll see it gives it to the nearest um, decimal place so that's six percent change and obviously if you go the other way if it comes up with a minus number as in something's uh, reduced year on year rather than increased it'll also work out whether that's a minus percentage for you so to work out how whether something's changed and by what percentage it's open your brackets with the calculation to figure out the amount of change there's been close that off and then divide that by the number from which you want to calculate the change so there you go, hope that's helpful. Two key percentage calculations you'll use frequently. I hope it's uh, simplified it for you because I know it's a lot to get your head around these uh, maths things sometimes, particularly when translating them into Excel formulas. And I'll speak to you again soon in another excel at the office.com video.